Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight I'm comparing these two waters. These are both sparkling waters, and these are both from Portland, Oregon. I picked them up on a little vacation I had to Portland, Oregon, and these are both from the same store. These are both from New Seasons Market in Portland. Here's their bag. And that's pretty much all that these two have in common. They're sparkling and from the same store and from the same city. The Cadia water is sparkling Italian mineral water. This was $2.99. It's in like a glass bottle. Seems like pretty good quality. Um, I noticed that a lot of Italian sparkling waters are in glass bottles, and they also um, have this different color to them. Like the Giant Eagle Italian sparkling water also has this color, and San Pellegrino also has this color. I think that this one and the Giant Eagle water are trying to copy San Pellegrino water, and... Uh, trying to just copy it being Italian and having it look the same on purpose. The ta uh, Talking Rain water is a sparkling water. This was $1.69, so it's almost half the price, but it's like a bigger, you know, bigger bottle, two liter bottle. I think it's called Talking Rain because it's a sparkling water. I think that it's probably going to make a bubbling sound when I open it up, and I think that sound is what they mean when they call it Talking Rain. Or maybe they're talking about thunder. That's, I, I'm not really sure. I'm just making this up. But it makes sense to me that if it's bubbling, it's like talking. It's like talking to you. The bubbling is talking to you. Um, this talking rain water... The, Portland, Oregon was not the first time I saw this. I saw this on Amazon a couple years ago. $26, including shipping, to have a case of this shipped. And that was just too much at the time, so I just didn't buy it. Um, but, you know, a dollar and sixty-nine cents at a store was a pretty good price. So I picked it up. This company, Talking Rain, also makes sparkling ice water, um, which I, I've seen in stores. I've never seen this in stores, but I've seen the sparkling ice. So Talking Rain started in the 80s, actually. It's a kind of an old company. It's actually older than me. The company started in 1987. That's when they started the Talking Rain beverage. And then in the 1990s, 1992, they started sparkling ice. So when I was like three years old, they started sparkling ice. I thought that was way newer. So I thought the sparkling ice started like five years ago. So I remember seeing it in stores for like the first time. I thought it was new. I didn't realize it started in 1992. Like it's before Windows 95. It's a long time ago. So sparkling ice is way older than I thought. Um, okay, so maybe it was just new to my area or something. Maybe that's just why I've never seen it. So let's open these up and just start doing the taste test. Uh, I've got some paper towels. These sparkling waters tend to, like, explode. Oh, crap. Okay. Good. I've done other reviews where it, like, shoots up in the air and makes a big mess. It's a lot of carbonation, but I'm glad it didn't explode. So somebody else doing a review on YouTube of this, and it squirted out a tiny bit. Yeah, it's still bubbling up. That's a lot of carbonation. Here we go. Let's taste it. Yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of bubbles. Let's do a pour test. So like I was saying, um, I saw a couple people on YouTube doing videos about Talking Rain and about um, a lot of people doing them on, on Sparkling Ice. So I think this is kind of like a more well-known company. I think Talking Rain is mostly on the West Coast. Sparkling Ice is around the country. But this is like, not well known at all. Um, no mentions of this on YouTube or, or very little on social media. This company actually has a website and at the bottom of the website they have links to social media stuff. But like if you click on their YouTube link it just takes you to YouTube.com. If you click on their Instagram link, it just takes you to Instagram.com. Like, I guess they don't even have social media accounts. But for some reason, they still have links to social media on their website. If you click on their their Twitter logo, it takes you to Twitter.com. Not to, like, their company Twitter account. It just takes you to Twitter.com. I thought that was funny. So I think Kadia or whatever, or however you pronounce this, Kadia or Sadia, whatever. I think this is, like, the new season market brand. I think this is their own brand of product because this is not just a water company. This company also has, like, 
beans and broth and soup and they even have like yellow mustard they have all kinds of like random products so i think it's just the new seasons brand um like i said it's like the same color as the giant eagle one so i think they're like intentionally trying to copy it all right and this is bottled straight from an ancient ancient roman spring deep in the foothills of italy in the Apatine Mountains. Got the uh, nice metallic lid. A lot less bubbling. Look, Talking Rain is still, you know, I opened this like over a minute ago. It's still bubbling more than the Cadilla. Uh, this water has a pretty high TDS, total dissolved solids. It's 560 milligrams per liter. It's still, I mean, it tastes pretty strong, actually. I don't see as many bubbles, but still fairly well carbonated so i bought these waters in portland and had to ship them across the country back to pittsburgh back to me um so that may have affected their carbonation just to be fair i should put that out there um the transportation i did may have affected them but they still seem pretty carbonated i would say like this is like the carbonation level of a coke and this is like 15% higher. This company also has some flavored versions. The Talking Rain Water had some reviews on Amazon. Jack on Amazon said this water was absolutely disgusting. Lily says it uh, tastes so awful. Reed says it's amazingly awful. Um, but most of the reviews were actually positive. Those were just some a handful of negative ones. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not much else to say about these. In general, I'm not a big fan of uh, sparkling waters. So, I only bought one bottle of each of these, because honestly, in my review video series, my water series, they're not going to make it very far. So I, just, I only bought one of them. Because um, they're, they're gonna, one of them's going to make it to round two, and then get eliminated. This one has 10% of your sodium needs, 10% of your daily sodium. Um, that, or 10, I'm sorry, not 10%, I'm really sorry. 10 milligrams, not 10%. So this has 10 milligrams of sodium, this has zero sodium. <clears throat> so I think less sodium is better. And I think the price is better on this. Um, I think that this bottle looks better. This looks nicer, this looks fancier. If someone opened my fridge, this would just be more aesthetically pleasing to look at um i like this branding a little bit more just easier to uh read i'm like confused how to pronounce this um as far as the taste goes i really don't taste the difference at, at all um this says it has like a high tds or higher than average tds it says it has a, a 10 milligrams of sodium i don't taste that at all uh really the only difference i tell is the uh amount of carbonation There's no clear winner. There's, there's like no obvious choice. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna say that the winner is the um, talking rain, and it's not because of the taste. Like I said, it tastes like exactly the same. It tastes like standard sparkling water. There's, there's no like disgusting plastic taste. There's no taste of glass. Um, no awful dirty taste to it. Nothing terrible about either of them. It's just. Uh, I guess this is a better value, better branding. Yeah, I, I, would I would prefer it if it came down to the taste, but it's just a tie. And I guess this is better because it has more carbonation. <clears throat> I mean, that's kind of impressive how, how much it's bubbling up. Like it's still, it's literally still bubbling up. So I guess if you were trying to get a sparkling water, you would probably want it to be more sparkling. Um, to like, it makes it more, even more of a better value. Um, like I said, I'm not really fan of sparkling, but. If I was, I think I would want it to be more sparkling. You know, there, there may have been a past review where I've picked a water because it's less sparkling. So maybe I'm contradicting myself right now. But today, in my mind, more carbonation is better for some reason. Um, these reviews are very subjective. I understand that. Um, this is just my own personal preference. And I'm 
going with Talking Rain as the winner. So, congratulations, Talking Rain. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.